Hello everybody, welcome back to Lego Empire, and in today's video we have a mystery box of Lego Star Wars Vintage Clone Troopers, mostly Clone Troopers, there are going to be some other cool figures in here, which we will get into, but it is mostly Vintage Clone Troopers, which is very, very cool, and I picked up this mystery box for exactly $200 on eBay, so let's see if we at least break even or make our money back. All right, so first up we have a standard Clone Wars Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Nothing too exciting, but a very, very nice Clone Trooper regardless. And then after that, ooh, it looks like we have a Shock Trooper, OG Shock Trooper um, from the old Battle Pack, one of the best Clone Battle Packs of all time, easily. Put that down on the base plate. Next up we have another Clone Wars clone, not even going to say much about that, you already know. Um, oh, here we have a realistic style Clone Trooper. Definitely one of my favorite clone troopers of all time. Just so clean looking and just so nice. Uh, put that back down on the base plate. And here we have an OG Ben Ken Actually, it's not very OG. It's kind of OG Ben Kenobi. Um, that might be from like a sand crawler or something. Because I know I, I got some other droids in the set um, that look like they could come from a sand crawler. So interesting, interesting figures there. We have another OG figure from the original trilogy, Dagobah Luke, and looks like uh, while we're doing that Luke, we can do the other two Lukes that I see. Uh, where's the other one? Here it is. Here we have this old farm boy Luke with an outdated hair piece that kind of looks bad, but, you know, whatever. Um, you know, this, this, these were old figures. Um, and then here we have a Luke with like a blindfold and he's bald. So, yeah. Very, very interesting, but what can you expect from an eBay haul? Next up, we have, whoa, the Mandalorian with a clone nougat head. I noticed that the skin tone looked weird under the helmet. So, yeah, that's interesting, interesting, but it does have a torso crack, so that's kind of disappointing for a figure that new uh, to have a torso crack. Here we have a 212th clone trooper. Now, this is a very, very interesting figure. It came from the, um, the Umbaran set with Ahsoka and Umbarans. It was like the heavy tank or whatever. I don't even know what it was called, dude. The heavy cannon, well, one of those things. But it's really cool, because it's a yellow 212th clone trooper and it's super, super unique. And it just gives me gives me some nostalgia, you know, for this old, old Clone Wars times. Here we have a retro C-3PO. I've had one of these before, so not too exciting. Um, some of the other retro figures are definitely better. Like this one, I've never seen this in person, so very, very cool. This is based off of the old Palpatine in the original trilogy before they refined his look and when he looked like really creepy. So definitely an improvement there that they made later on. Here we have uh, one of two Star Wars Rebels Stormtroopers. Here's the other one. A lot of people are not too big of a fan of these guys because of the really blue vents on their helmets and the little mustaches. I didn't mind that personally um, for a while, but then... I started um, realizing they were there more, and it really bothered me. Here we have a 91st Recon Clone Trooper. Awesome, awesome figure. I love when LEGO used to experiment with all the other, all the different legions, um, like, so openly. Like, in one battle pack, they had one, two, three, four different legions, basically. Um, so that's pretty crazy that they had it all in one battle pack. I think it's, like, a $20 figure, so very nice find in a $200 haul, just like this one. Here we have an old Rebel A-Wing pilot. I think this is my first... OG Rebel um, minifigure, so that's interesting to get in my collection. Uh, here we have an OG Padme from Episode 1. Um, kind of dodgy face print there, but, you know, what can you expect? It's like 1999 when this thing's coming out, right? So you can't expect the best figure of all time. Here we have an Astromech, like I was saying. I think that's from a sand crawler, some sort of sand crawler. Uh, I don't know what it's worth, but I'm definitely going to check after this video. Could be worth something. Um, I will have a total of what this haul um, is worth at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Here we have, it looks like a Naboo pilot or something. Um, very, very cool to have that. I love episode one. Episode one is one of my favorite movies, despite people thinking it's like really boring and slow. I like it a lot. This is an old Imperial officer. I don't know if that's the right face or not. Um, it could be, could not be. Who really knows? Here we have most of a Qui-Gon. Um, his legs were, you know, I guess cut off by Maul later on down the line. Uh, who knows? So yeah, he's getting put on a base plate without any legs. Here we have one that I'm not even going to put on this stand because he's, he's kind of weird. He's like an OG Grievous, but he has no limbs. 
So yeah, he's in really bad condition as well. It might just be a giveaway item for my whatnot auction that's coming up. So link in the description if you want some free stuff. Here we have an OG phase two clone trooper. Um, there are a few of these in the lot. Actually, there's only one complete one in the lot, but there are like so many torsos for this clone trooper in the lot. I'm gonna have to buy a ton of helmets and legs to go along with it. So I have like an army. Uh, here we have a clone gunner from the Clone Wars. Came in that OG battle pack. Nothing too exciting. Um, but you know, the Clone Wars, Clone Wars figures are always great. Uh, next up, we have the most obscure figure of the lot by far, an Ewok. Everybody loves Ewoks. Ewoks are great. I don't know what the e Ewok's name specifically is, but I think he's worth about 10 bucks, maybe. Here we have a Darth Vader. Probably came in the shuttle set with Palpatine. Maybe it was the Imperial Inspection that came in. I'm not sure. Could have come in really anything. Um, here we have, we have two of these, actually. We have one OG Darth Maul with a cape and one uh, without a cape. Now, fun fact about these Darth Mauls is LEGO did not have a uh, molded horn piece back then. So they just would put hoods on Darth Maul uh, whenever they wanted to use him. So I, all I need is some basic black hoods to put on him, and he's complete. Here we have a Kylo Ren missing his helmet, unfortunately. But if I can find an extra Kylo Ren helmet somewhere, there we go. We have a complete Kylo Ren. Here's Baze Melbus from Rogue One. Cool Rebel. Um, I don't know where his blaster is. I don't think it's included in the lot, but I love his weapon in Rogue One. It's like that heavy machine gun type blaster, and it's really, really cool. Here we have an old Yoda with a cane. I love how the Sidious and Yoda both come with canes. Really, really nice. They're like the only figures in the collection that come with accessories, so that's awesome. Um, this is a really nice mystery box so far. Here we have an Imperial officer probably from that shuttle set, if it was a shuttle set that the Palpatine came from. Um, definitely an interesting figure, not, not one that I'm particularly interested in that much, um, but it is interesting to get. Here we have a Darth Vader. This is like the OG Darth Vader transformation figure. It's worth like 20 bucks. I actually looked at this on BrickLink recently. Uh, so that's a really nice find as well in this lot. And now I'm gonna be going over some parts that I found in the lot that are definitely worth noting. All right, first up, we have one of the most expensive finds in the lot, which is this 442nd Clone Trooper. Sadly, I could not find the helmet in this lot, but I am going to buy a helmet on BrickLink. The helmets aren't actually the most expensive piece. The most expensive piece is the torso, and the torso is like 40 bucks or so, so you add like a $6 helmet and it becomes a $60 minifigure, so I'd say that's definitely worth it for me. Here we have some 91st Recon parts. We have an OG helmet, and then we have one of the more modern 91st clone troopers, uh, torsos and arms. Really nice find there. Um, this shock trooper torso is representing all the shock trooper torsos I found. There's probably like three extra torsos for these shock troopers in the lot. I really wish more parts came for these so I could complete them right now, but whatever. Here we have the Ventress torso from the 2008 gunship, I believe. One of like the cloth on her legs and all of that. Um, so really, really cool uh, torso, the more expensive Ventress. And then here we have a Cad Bane torso and legs, I believe. I think this is the Cad Bane with like the oversized hat from the Clone Wars. It's the one from the Turbo Tank, I wanna say, or ATTE, one, one of the two. And then here uh, we have quite a few of these 327th Clone Trooper parts. No helmets or anything like that, but we got a lot of extra parts, so I definitely want to complete some. We got a few 212 parts. I'm not showing all of them, but this is just one of them. And then here we have probably one of the most hyped parts of the video. Actually, probably the ex most expensive thing in this um, mystery box. This Django Fett helmet piece with the jetpack and everything. This is worth like $150 in good condition, and I'm pretty sure it's in like pristine condition right now. So yeah, that's kind of insane. Um, there's a hole at the top. I'm not sure if that means this is a fake or if it is real. I'm gonna have to check on that to be honest. Um, here we have an OG Boba torso. I think this is worth around 15 to 20 bucks, this torso alone. Um, when the figure is completed, it's worth like 50 to 60. No, it was like 40 to 60, something like that. But I only have a torso, so, you know, whatever. Still an expensive part, so that's really cool. And we have a few other incomplete figures, but I don't really care to show them all. Here is the base plate at the end of the video. We also have a ton of extra parts to get through, but 
Other than that, this is what we got. And for $200, I'd say this is very, very decent. I mean, if we can sell this for like $150, and that means all we have to do is sell the rest of this for over $50 and we make money. And I'm pretty sure that's that's going to be easy. Like, we take this clone trooper, this clone trooper, and this clone trooper. We can easily sell that for $50. Boom. There we go. All this and all of this is free. That's a pretty insane lot right there, not gonna lie. Uh, if you all did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you like these kind of haul videos. I do have some more clone troopers on the way, so I could make more videos like this if you guys do like these videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.